Hello, Ingrid Schaffner, Senior Curator at ICA here. Last summer, I visited Bill Walton's studio at the behest of his friend, the artist Jane Irish, who was inviting members of the Philadelphia community to come visit the studio before it was permanently dismantled. The studio was as Bill had left it, and one of the things that struck me immediately was that it was already prepared to be seen. Bill, who knew he was dying, came to the studio pretty much every day up to the end of his life, just shy of turning 80. Another thing that struck was what a perfect machine for making art this small and efficient space represented. Like a clockwork, it's divided almost exactly between two artistic operations, making and looking. Half the studio was a workshop, the other a clean space, or a relatively clean space. We were in a funky old factory building, space for Bill to study his sculptures on a white wall or a painted gray floor. Standing there, it also occurred that Bill Walton's studio would fit perfectly into ICA's Project Space Gallery, which is where you'll find it now as I speak a few days before the exhibition, Bill Walton's Studio, ends here at ICA on Sunday, December 4th. I hope you'll come to the event that starts at 2 o'clock called Gifting the Studio. Thanks to the generosity of Bill's family, this will be a very special afternoon of words and gifts. You bring the words about Bill Walton, his art and life, or come speak of studios in general and take in exchange, take away an object from the installation. Power tools, hand tools, hardware, drawing instruments, coffee cups, erasers, brushes, pretty much everything except, obviously, the art on view. This being Philadelphia, I imagine it will be a somewhat Quakerish affair, formally informal, as people feel moved to speak, will be the order of the day. Finally, one other thing that first struck me about Bill's studio is how much like a picture it is a still photograph of a kind of studio practice, one in which there is no computer, for instance. It's a kind of vintage print, if you will, one that will vanish object by object this Sunday as the equipment and accoutrements of Bill's work are given in gift to become objects of remembrance or potentially to be used again. I hope to see you here.